So this AXA bottle dynamo um, is a 6 volt 3 watt dynamo and uh, when you buy it it's just over 20 quid. Uh, it doesn't tend to come with any brackets so I've bought uh, a little bracket here which is an adjustable bracket which came from St John's Cycles and uh, this is a bracket that I fashioned because most of the brackets you see, which tend to be about 10 quid or so online, are clamps. And I don't like clamp things because they slip around and they can scratch your frame. And they still don't necessarily fit terribly well and they bend a bit. But I fashioned this out of an old bracket that I happen to have in the garage. So I've bent it and drilled it to, to, to suit. Which is what you may end up having to do yourself. <laughs> But it fits nicely to my forks, which have got triple screws um, on the uh, fork there. And this little chemo thing will deliver up to half an amp, which suits very well with that. It's got three little holes in the bottom. And a USB socket. And uh, so you, you have the you can have a wire going to the frame, I've just wired it directly to the dynamo um, and you can have the wire going from the dynamo as well so there's your two wires into the dynamo and you can have another wire coming out which goes off to your lights if you're going to power it from AC and the switch allows you to switch from the lights on the AC to the USB which is 5 volts half an amp, up to half an amp, coming out of there when you're going along. To attach it to the dynamo, you have this little black plastic um, insert. When you buy the dynamo, you just pull that out and the, there are holes where the wires go in. It's actually got two halves with four wire positions, two this side, two that side, um, so you can put the current and the return on either one on either side and you can have one going to the front light, one going to the back light but I've just taken two wires, one from each side straight into the USB converter so these also cost around £20 um, so all together for about 50 quid, you've got a, a charging circuit on your bike and I'm only planning to use this as uh, a temporary measure for charging up when I haven't got solar power and when I can't charge up my devices from a, a cafe or whatever um, so that will keep me keep me going quite well and the beauty of these is that you can have it on when you need it and off when you don't that weighs about 200 and something grams I think that weighs about 150 to 200 grams. So altogether, I suppose about 400 grams with the cable as well, something like that. Not uh, particularly onerous. So I'm cycling on at a fairly normal speed now. I'm getting about 0.4 amps so there you have it that's what I shall be using on my cycle tours in the UK if I was going to do a very long trip across Europe across the world or something like that I would probably go for a hub dynamo um, probably more robust and reliable in the long term um, but this will certainly suit me for the kind of 500 kilometre, 500 mile type trips that, that uh, I'm likely to be doing. I hope it's been useful to you. Cheers. Bye bye.